Burlington Equity Coalition recently put on Burlington's first ever LGBTQIA plus celebration, which quickly developed into a pretty cool party. Event organizers, Leo Abranoff and Carrie Moe. I'm blown away, personally. It's so great. It's so great to see everybody come together. It really is what we wanted, a community feel. People keep coming up to us and telling us how great this is and how comfortable they feel. You know, longtime residents of Burlington that are just now realizing there's a community here. It's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to bring people together, and it's happening. We started at our Facebook group and going to a Burlington Equity Coalition meeting, which was virtual at the time, and we told them our plans, and everyone said, great, how can we help? So we a lot of it through email, through Facebook, because at the time, again, with COVID, we couldn't do face-to-face. -face. And so a lot of it happened that way. And then once people started hearing about it, they were like, how can we be involved? What can we do? And for those people who couldn't sort of show up, they were like, can we donate money? And we were like, all right. So we're using the, everything we got is going to this event. And anything left over, we're donating to the Trevor Project, which is a wonderful, that, that supports LGBTQ youth. So this is amazing. prizes to give out but mainly we're just here to represent our school and our GSA and to sport and participate in all these great events. It's, it's awesome, it's very fun. People over there, they're dancing, they're having a good time, everyone's having a good time, everyone's just feeling loved and accepted. Celebrating being lesbian? Um, my mom and grandfather are right over there. I feel really happy about it, and I feel happy having accepting family and a mom that gives great hugs. So we have a lot of stuff. We have some leftover swag from our pride kits. We have a bookmark craft, temporary tattoos. We have some books you can actually check out, as well as book lists of more. And Amanda is doing two story time. I hope everyone knows, if they didn't already know, that the library is a welcoming, inclusive place. And come visit us anytime. And we've got all kinds of pride books. And we have summer reading coming up July 6th. So definitely look out for that. Everybody in Burlington has come down for this Pride Day and we're also telling them about our upcoming season because we need all kinds of people to participate in the theater. We've always had LGBTQ plus members of our group and we're just so excited that Burlington is finally doing this. Everyone's already asking about next year and I was like, okay, first of all, we're planning a wedding while we did all this. So I was like, we're just going to take like a week off. If you guys want to start running with it, go ahead. But I mean, there's definitely going to be a next year, probably even bigger. So I'm a transgender man. Um, this is my fiance. I'm a cis woman. Um, and we're getting married in September. Congratulations, Leo and Carrie. Burlington's inaugural Pride event was more than just a celebration of inclusion. It was a genuinely fun time. anything more than this. This is amazing and I'm thrilled. From the Burlington Town Common, I'm B News reporter Tad Stefanik.